way back then, our ancestors have different culture. One of these culture is playing recreational activities. One of these recreational activities is Iko. During those times, when they were bored or nothing to do at their homes, they played this type of recreational activities. As time passed by or goes by, we inherit this type of culture. That's what we call cultural heritage. Right now, it made a big influence to our indigenous games that we have today because without our ancestors creating this type of game, this type of recreational activity, we don't have any nostalgic memories with it. Playing this game is so much fun. It would make a big impact to the physical education. Adding this to one of our activities would make us more physically, mentally, emotionally, and socially healthy. It would like bring us the time that we that during our childhood we enjoyed it without any problem, stress free and living free. Adding this would make us feel like it's very nostalgic. It would be a great activity for ch for children or adults or even who's already working trying to get out of stress. Playing recreational activities improves your mood. That's all. How does cultural heritage paid influences to the indigenous games that we have today? What would be the impact of these games promoting the culture of the Philippines through physical education? Agility, strength, balance, and eye coordination, reflexes, accuracy, strategy, intuition, and patience. These are skills of indigenous fishermen. I mean, indigenous hunters and fishermen relied on to feed their communities. So, those skills were learned at an early age through games and maintained throughout adulthood through play. Traditional games are seen as the best platform for promoting peace, harmony, goodwill, and camaraderie. So, in various Philippines community, especially now that today's generation is different, most kids are stuck on their phones, iPads, and PSPs while sitting on a corner. So, promoting the culture of the Philippines through physical education gives more benefits to a child. So, playing traditional games such as board or outdoor games help the children think for themselves, learn cooperation and teamwork skills, work on strategies and tactics, and learn how to hold a conversation with adults. Games are a fun way of getting your child to learn without them realizing it. Before the time without the pandemic, children are freely and happily enjoying spending time outdoor, playing with their colleagues, but in this time of great uncertainty and fear, it has had an enormous impact on all aspects of life. It changes the life of a child enjoying the richness of traditional games taken by quarantine restrictions. For the children, it is a major consequence consequences for where, when, how, and with whom they can go outdoor to play again. Closures of schools and playgrounds have restricted spaces for them to play. It is like the feeling of being far from our loved ones because children love to play, which this leads to miss the children's life during at this stage as part of their growth and experiences. To the ind individual young children, I will experience them to play and explaining them what is traditional games. 
Playing traditional games such as board and outdoor games help children to think for themselves, learn cooperation and teamwork skills, work on strategies and tactics, and learn how to hold a conversation with adults. Games are a fun way of getting the children to learn. Traditional games help the social, emotional, stability, mental learning, and physical abilities of Filipino children who play these games. Traditional games are seen as the best platform for promoting peace, harmony, goodwill, and camaraderie in various Philippine communities. It is also part of the measure to recognize and protect the exercise of the indigenous people right, one of which is the preservation of their cultural heritage. Indigenous games or laro ng lahi is highly recommended to integrate in the school programs or any related PE activities to measure the necessary skills instead of traditional PE activities. Aside from building a child's stamina and insurance against sickness, these games encourage among the youth social and community values of teamwork, cooperation, and constructive competition. As a people, we should be proud of our traditions from celebrating historical events to playing the games our forebears used to play. Due to the pandemic, what advocacy can you suggest to keep indigenous and traditional games alive? Uh, traditional games are seen as the best platform for promoting peace, harmony, goodwill, and camaraderie in various Philippine communities. It is also part of the measure to rec recognize to protect that exercise to the indigenous people right of one of the which of the preservation of their cultural heritage my advocacy that i can suggest to keep indigenous and traditional games number one is keep constant communication with family and friends and number two maintain cultural traditional by sharing it with others contributed a huge changes to the children's perception throughout their life wherein they were meant to live a life in a social environment but due to the quarantine restrictions the social interaction of children's does different kinds of people are lessened along with it all the traditional games enriched to the children's enjoyment in which they're limited to actings within their boundaries and quarantine restrictions. When the pandemic hits our world, we missed a lot of fun activities that we enjoyed before because of the community restrictions, especially for the young children where playing are one of the rules in life as a kid, to have fun and to enjoy the world. But it all changes in one snap, where they will be missing some late experiences as a child. Now that we are facing a pandemic and where technology arises, we all know that many youngs are using it to play games nowadays. And considering to the situation we are facing, we think that it is more safe than to play outside with the other kids, which is understandable. But as a young adult and as a future PE teacher, I still encourage everyone to play traditional games than to play um, online games despite of COVID-19 because it is more beneficial to the physical health of a child than to play online games. But of course, we must play in a safe environment. For an instance, 
as an older sister, I encourage my young siblings to play more active than to play to their gadgets. So what I do, I play with them inside our house and sometimes we play it outside in our house with a precautionary measures following the health protocols. And yes, I still play traditional games with my younger siblings if I have some ta if I have a vacant time. So to all children out there, I would say that make an experiences that would last forever in your heart. Make your childhood memory unforgettable, because just like me, that every time I remember the good old days, I, it put a smile on my face, and I think that it would be great to turn back the time. So to all the children out there, I encourage you to play traditional and indigenous games, because no pandemic could be a hindrance to the happiness that we deserve. Play safe. Play healthy and play happily. Don't forget to wear your mask. That's all. Thank you. As a future physical educator, I will continue teaching traditional and indigenous games because it reflects and shapes values beliefs and aspirations to us Filipinos. Also, traditional sport and games are a means to convey uh, values of solidarity, diversity, fair play, inclusion, and cultural, cultural awareness. That's why it is important to teach traditional games in school. They also contribute the logical thinking skills which can help students reason through important decisions solve problems, generate creative ideas, and set goals, all, all of which are necessary for developing your career. It enhances civic and mathematical education, which empowers us to be well-informed, active citizens, and give us the opportunity to change the world around us and can help students analyze different choices and possibilities and therefore make better sense of their upcoming duties as voters and members of civil society.